So the product line, we have the American, which is the top of the line, 90 minutes safe. The Eagle, you do have an Eagle down here. Your uh, Eagles and Fat Boys are 75 minute safes. Uh, the Patriot and the Fat Boy Junior is a 60 minute safe. Um, the Big Boy is a half hour safe, so that's your opening price point safe in, in a wide body, a larger safe. And then you have your Centurions, which are your opening price point safes, and those are half hour fire protection as well. So everything that you sell has fire protection. Um, really, when you're going through the safes, this is kind of where you want to start as far as showing people what's inside the safe, okay? It's a 75 minute safe, obviously made in the USA. It's 11 gauge steel. And then right here, it shows the fire protection, how it's constructed inside. So you've got two layers in the walls, four in the ceilings, three in the door jams, and three in the door. So when I'm talking about fire protection, what, what am I talking about? Well, this right here, this board, is fireboard. Okay, so that's what I'm talking about as far as layers of fire protection. Um, the, this is what protects your contents in the event of a fire. So when this thing starts cooking, there's water content inside here. And that water content comes out of the fireboard and that's what protects your valuables inside. So the more layers of fireboard, the more protection you have. You'll notice uh, right in here is a seal on every safe. Um, that is a pass all fire seal. So when this thing starts cooking in a fire, this, this seal is actually going to expand to eight times the thickness that it is now. And that's what seals off the door and protects your contents. Um, the roll for line, which is on your larger body safes, um, those come down in assembly where the body of the safe is essentially made out of one piece of steel. The advantage of that is not only added strength, but you have less welds within the body of the safe. Uh, welds are weak points that people will try to attack, break the weld and break into the safe. Less welds you have, the less susceptibility you have to somebody breaking in the safe. The other thing you might want to point out to them is the UL listing, okay? UL is a independent third party um, that just verifies that the safes perform as we say they do. So they take them, if we say it's a 60 minute safe, they take it, they burn it, they go, yeah, it's a 60 minute safe, here's your UL listing, okay? A lot of competitors will try to get around that um, and say, built to UL specifications or reference UL in some type of vague way um, without it actually being UL listed uh, because they know if they send that safe out there, it's not gonna perform as they claim it does or they're too cheap to go and spend the money through go, going through the UL process. So as far as locks are concerned, a lot of people ask which is better, an electronic lock or a mechanical lock? It's, it's simply personal preference. Um, the locks are all, this, you know, they both have a five year warranty whether it's an electronic lock or a mechanical lock. There are old school guys that would never ever add an electronic lock, um, you know, so you can get any of the safes with either an electronic lock or a mechanical lock, okay? If they've already bought one with a mechanical lock and they decide they want to change to an electronic lock, they can order an electronic lock kit. I reckon you could try to do it yourself. I would recommend that they have a locksmith do the conversion, okay? You cannot go from an electronic lock to a mechanical lock. It's too complicated of a procedure. So as far as retailing the safes and putting them on the floor, um, one key item is your, uh, your lockout mechanism here. Um, so when these come in from the factory, there's just a little rubber grommet right here. Um, you can contact Liberty and they will ship out these lock, uh, lock bolt kits, which are meant for retailing, um, that will allow the safe to be on the floor and be opened and not be locked. So for safety precaution, nobody can lock themselves inside. The customer can bring their truck and you guys can load it on for him or her. And, uh, or you work with an outside contractor and have set that up to have that delivered to their home. So that's a key. You're going to close a lot of sales with that.